Hello and welcome back to Buckland Junction. I'm up on Bird Lip Hill, which is uh, Gloucestershire, I believe. Down there is um, the town, or is it a city? No, it's a city of Gloucester, where I've been today to uh, meet up with a, quite a special lad named Alan Whitmore. Um, him and his wife may be really welcome Why we uh, done a few hours playing with his model railway in his loft so it's another Alan in the loft but not this Alan in, in the loft because I was in his loft <laughs> oh it's getting complicated but yeah I can see right through probably to the Brecon Beacons and the Black Mountains from here I'm not going to try using the zoom uh, but it's well worth a look this is Birdlip Hill in Gloucestershire uh, over there is a hill fort uh, ancient settlement by the looks of it has um, tumuli and a mount which would probably have been aligned with um, you know a wooden fortress very interesting I've been here before although it's now a view and parking spot it was the um, it was the main road last time I come through here I believe so oh, let's see what we can get into. Have a look at Alan Whitmore, Whitmore's layout coming up right now. Today I'm off to see a lost railway. So it's another Alan in the lot. Let's see what we get up to. Wow, well, welcome back to Buckland Junction. It's Alan in the loft, but I'm not in my Buckland Junction loft, I'm in another Alan's loft. And this is his wonderful layout. It's very big, very long I should say. So let me give you a quick walk round first. This bit is, I think, is still in progress. But there's a lot going on. And I'm going to be chasing some engines in a little while. got masses of rolling stock lots of lovely engines and he's just setting it all going now so stand by for a busy running session right let's try and get some of his layout in because uh, he's got a uh, a church scene with was it Sir Tom Moore? Yeah, Sir Tom Moore. And look, he's got a um, an RAF flyby salute going on here. Got some great um, freight trucks here. Fill up with gravel. and try not to get into the light. I'll have to put some facts in the um, comments below. There's so much going on here. Look at that for a freight rake. The steel coil. Oops. We've got the nuclear flask train here. Direct rail services. And there's even a 37 on the other end, so double heading. I think this is a Delta. Look at that. And yet on the same line, this is the thing that confuses me about DC. We've got another Class 37 with a tanker train. By the way, this is Alan Whitmore's uh, layout. What else have we got? Yeah, it's so busy. <laughs> another Dell Dick, I think. 
carriages, they're lovely carriages. They're quite short those carriages. I would have said that was a class 20 but I don't know my numbers very well. I like the way you've got all loads in these uh, wagons. It does make a difference. Let's watch this one go by. Kind of a mixed freight. Oh, look at all those wheels in there. Wow. Pipes, tractors, JCBs. It's amazing what you can learn off other uh, modelers. These uh, hoppers, the southern region hoppers, um, these ones are empty. But look at this for scrap metal. Look at this, this is so impressive. It looks really good. What are they? Snipped up ring pull cans. Ring pulls from these cans. Look at that, I think that looks really cool. And he's got a uh, piece of foam covered with cardboard grey grey and the top layer of ring pull cans, it's so effective. Ooh. Now this at least uh Oh, it's not that train. He's got two trains running on the same track behind each other, one behind each other. Which is making it uh, quite confusing to keep my eye on all these. We've had a little bit of a derailment. One train's running to the back of the other one. But uh, that's model railways for you. I've been warned there's some naughty things going on in this uh, layout. Yes, they're up to something there. <laughs> got the rail gang. Oh, and I like the Land Rover there with its little uh, wheels to go on the tracks. It's excellent. There's so much going on here, Alan. Got a bit of a, uh, a freight yard going on here. This one, Mark, Mark at Main Train will like this one. And also I'm going to sh hopefully show Alan's collection of lorries, cars. Wow, he's, he's got a lovely collection downstairs. Of every truck you can think of, plus other things. Farmyard, which is still in development. I've got to go for a change of back. Let's have a look at Alan's sidings because there's some interesting bits and bobs in here. So these are 66s I think, or some people call them sheds. I've uh, caught a couple actually working for real uh, on my trip. But, um, now look at that for a full siding. Containers, bulkies, wagons. And this is the... the um, this is the brake gym. Uh, yeah, is that the testing cat carriage? Is yeah, it the, the rail? The laboratory. All oh, right, yeah. And, and uh, that's a maintenance. Right. That's a, and that's a kit. But that's that's a kit. This one. No, no, no. That's their tools in there. Oh, so, I see. Yeah, yeah they're tool wagon. Yeah. But that, that's a, a utility Winston, van. It's a luggage van. Yeah. It's Winston Churchill's funeral wagon. Oh wow! Excellent. And look at these for cars. Look. Look at that, an old four pot. Yeah, interesting stuff. And in that time more disasters could be yeah, happening. Yeah. I'm just getting some of his lovely rakes of uh, wagons here. There's so much going on now. Look at that. And the blue brake van. Wow, that's highly detailed. 
I had to hit the panic button because uh, too many trains running and catching each other up. But, um, gives me a chance to have a look at, around the layout. It's quite a, <laughs> a horny... Uh, we've got some other goings on there, look. Should do it behind the bushes. Oh, there's a police. Is that a 47? Yeah. Have they really got a police one? Yeah. And what do they use that for? Well, I think it's just more advertising. Oh, okay. I've just got to have a good look at um, Alan's spam cam. Look at that. I do like a spam cam. So William Sinclair? Arch, Archibald Sinclair. Archibald Sinclair, look at that. I was starting to think that Alan's mostly into his diesels, but look. Oh, there's diesel. <laughs> Steam. He's got a lovely collection going on here. Oh, steady. Wow! So, Pendolino. Yeah. I've been watching these things go on the side of the lines and boy, yeah, yeah. they do go. If you want to get up country quick, get on a Pendolino. And that's all virgin, is it? Yeah. Yeah. Wow, lovely. Military train. Some tanks. The Home Guard Patriot. What, this one? Yeah. Home Guard Patriot. Wow. Nicely done and weathered. Yeah, it's got some lovely stuff here. <laughs> Here's the nuclear flask train. And it's carriage for the military to guard the train. And look at this for detail. Look at that. I think there's 16 wheels on every every carriage. Another arms carriage and the 37 sitting there at the back. Look at that for a rake. I think every boy should have one. Look at that. Working lights. string on it so if you yeah. drop it it just yeah. stays with you. If, if you wrist in it. Yeah. And the times I've got it caught on things. <laughs> oh have you? Yeah. Well I went to Cheltenham Model Centre the other day. Spent seventy four pound twenty. <laughs> bloody um, pickups. Ah, where in the tent or the um... the engine? No, on the on the driving wheels. I'm gonna have to split that video to get this to work properly. Avro Vic, Avro Vulcan X. XH558. Yeah. Excellent. What can I say apart from 
thanks Alan, thanks Al for looking after me this afternoon and for showing me your wonderful layout. It was, yeah, mind boggling. Um, yeah, I hope I see you again in the future and uh, keep building that railway up, mate. It's wonderful. Almost too much to look at. Um, I should be looking back at my films and photographs to see what I've missed. But, uh, yeah, that's Alan reporting from Birdlip. I take it you lovers have been up here in the past. Uh, take care, so that's Alan out. What can I say? On the perfect end to the day. My spectacular sunset. People are still here having fun. It's lovely and warm, 24 degrees maybe. Absolutely gorgeous. All the town lights of Gloucester are now twinkling. And with my own eyes I can see miles into the distance other towns, other valleys, absolutely gorgeous. Another travel in. Wow, wow.